I'm just rewriting the the reaction over here because the resolution changed so some of the things jumped um, and this gives me in the reversible reaction NH3 right now let's see we're going to eventually have to calculate KC and the question says I've set up the table um, and now we're going to add the rest of what the table gives us but let's not forget that your balancing mole ratio must be there that's 1 is to 3 is to 2 right that's going to become very important for the row for reacted slash produced okay so let me see what comes up now let's fill in everything that's given there's the reaction we are told the reaction is exothermic 9 moles of N2 plus 15 moles of H2 are pumped into a 500 cubic centimeter uh, container now this is a very important thing to go from cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters all you need to do is you divide by 1000 okay and we must have the volume in cubic decimeters uh, in order to complete our calculations here for concentration so let's convert 500 centimeters cubed so 500 centimeters cubed is equal to 0 0,5 decimeters cubed because I've divided by 1000 okay okay the temperature of the gas mixture is now raised to 405 degrees Celsius resulting in 8 moles of NH3 being present at equilibrium. Calculate the value of Kc at 405 degrees Celsius. That should be a superscript over there. So let's fill in what was given. This was given as 9. This was given as 15. And this over here, we are told that there is ammonia of 8 moles. So at when we started this reaction, we didn't have any of that. Now, now you come here and you observe the change, right? To go from 0, what must I add or subtract to get to 8? You'll say, Imad, well, clearly you had it you had to add 8 okay now over here we notice that we had to add something and if I'm adding on this side on the other side of the area all the substituents must be subtracted so I'm going to add that there negative and negative and this of course is a positive positive. and now we work at our calculations and clearly we can observe that 0 plus 8 will give me the 8 and now look at the ratio the ratio is 1 is to 3 is to 2 how do you go from 2 to 1? Well, to go from 2 all the way to 1 is you divide by 2. So whatever I have here, I need to divide by 2 and put it in the column with 1. Right? So that's going to give me 4. This is our ratio. Oops, wrong column. I, that's why the stars are there, because you need to do this in the, not wrong column, wrong row. You need to do it in the row with the stars. To go from 8, in other words, 2 to go to 1, I divide by 2. So therefore, I take 8 and I divide by 2 and I get 4. Okay? Then I need to do the following. To go from 1 to 3, I get from 1 all the way to 3. I multiply by 3. So I do exactly the same. Wherever I see my stars, I say 4 multiplied by 3, and that's going to give me 12. Now the rest is fairly trivial. That's going to be 9 minus 4, and, and you can clearly see that. 15 minus 12 is going to be uh, 3. Okay? And there we go. Now the last row of this table is where I need to calculate the concentration. And in order to do that, I need to take the 5 and divide it by the volume. So I'm going to say 5, whatever's in this row, and I divide it by that thing over there, divided by 0 0.5, and that is equal to 10. Okay? Um, because it's divided by half, there are 10 halves in 5. This is going to be 3 divided by 0 0.5, and that's going to give me 6. And this is going to be 8 divided by 0 0.5, which is going to give me... 16. Now I can clearly come and I can write in the Kc formula. Kc is equal to the concentration of NH3 raised to the power of 2 divided by the concentration of nitrogen raised to the power of 1 because that's the ratio over there. And then finally on this side I have hydrogen raised to the power of 3. Hydrogen gas raised to the power of 3. Okay, let's fill it all in. That's going to be 16 squared because that's what I got over here, divided by 10 squared, and that's multiplied by 6 to the power of, no, 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 did I do this right? No, 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 that's to the power of 1, my bad. Okay, that's power of 1. Let's just get a very tiny eraser and erase that over there. Okay, the pen is lagging because the battery is running low. We'll be sure to get some new batteries by tomorrow. 
Okay, that's to the power of 1. And this thing over here is going to be 6 to the power of 3. Okay, now you can type that in your calculator as is. Okay, let's just, let's just see. Uh, we have some pin power back there. 6 to the power of 3. Okay, that's a 3. Let me just... Okay, and so now you can just type this all in your calculator and see what you get. Um, okay. And once you've done that, you should come out to a value that says this is equal to 0, 1, 2, if I round it off to two decimal places, 0, 1, 2. And that's, again, how you calculate KC. Okay, so for video number 17, we're going to do a much trickier example. Um, and then after that, we're going to go into how to actually, um, what, what exactly KC means, right?